Have you ever seen this thumbnail? There was a time where I saw this thumbnail every single day, no matter what I watched, no matter what I searched for, I would always see this thumbnail. So I thought to myself, how is this channel running a 24 seven, every single day, every single hour channel that is getting thousands upon thousands of views? And better yet, how is this channel actually making money on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how this channel grew to the point where it can make thousands and thousands of dollars per month, but also how you can do the same thing if you want to. And the cool thing is, it's really simple to do. So you can easily replicate this same process that I'm about to break down for you. All right, let's get into it. Roll the intro. If you're new to my channel and you wanna learn more about YouTube and how you can use YouTube to make money, make sure you hit that subscribe bell, leave a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up so other people can have the same opportunity as you and learn how YouTube can change your life. Now, I never knew that 24 seven channels existed. So I did a bit of research and what I found is pretty crazy. And the cool thing is, like I said, it's super easy to do. So make sure that you stick around to the end of this video where I'm going to explain exactly how you can set up your own 24 seven YouTube channel. So when I was doing my research, the first thing I did was go onto YouTube. I searched for different 24 seven channels and I found a lot of channels who are streaming music. They were streaming techno, they were streaming rap, they were streaming house music, lo-fi, which is what Chilled Cow streams, and it's all music that's on a loop, which is cool because they don't really have to do anything, they just have to find really good music that's not copyrighted and make that a loop the stream, and they have a channel pretty much, which is really not that complicated. All you're doing is just sourcing music and then making that music on a loop. And then I went a little bit deeper into my research and I found this really cool channel that does something that anyone can do. To be honest, this type of thing that this channel is doing is really obscure. So what they do is they live stream live subscriber counts. So think about like battles. So you have one channel that's trying to get to one point and another channel that is trying to get to another point and they're battling to see who can get to that subscriber count First, this channel is called Flare TV and they have 2.5 million subscribers. If you take a look at this channel, they have three live streams that are running constantly 24 seven. The first one being PewDiePie versus T-Series, which is a live subscriber count battle to see who can get to 100 million subscribers first. Spoiler alert, T-Series won this battle, but it's so cool because you have hundreds and hundreds of people watching this battle to see who is going to win and this channel has literally gained subscribers off the fame of these other channels. And make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna show you exactly how Flare TV and Chilled Cow, for example, are making money. Stay tuned. The second live stream on Flare TV is literally so dumb, but it works for some reason. Uh, it is literally the DVD logo just going into different directions on the screen. You know that DVD logo that you see when you get a DVD? It's literally that, and it's on a live stream. And when I was researching this video, it had like 30 people watching this DVD thing. And when I saw it, I was like, huh? And the third stream, which is pretty obscure, <laughs> it's called Area 51 Raid. And it's literally a countdown to when people are supposed to be uh, raiding Area 51. And when I was doing my research, this live stream had 10 people watching. Literally, who knows why, but they're watching it. And the cool thing about live streams is it actually counts towards your watch time. So if people are watching constantly, you can easily get to that 4,000 minutes watch to monetize your channel, which leads me to the next point of how these channels are actually making money. So let's break it down. Let's take Chilled Cow, which is the first example I gave you earlier in this video. The channel is pretty simple. It's very niche specific and it's all about lo-fi music. So the live stream that is constantly playing is all lo-fi music. Now you're probably thinking, okay, what makes that so unique? So there's three parts to this particular channel and how they monetize. The first part is when people are watching their live streams, it counts towards the minute watch. So they can easily get to the point where they can run ads on their videos that they release that are not live streams. Of course, this channel has a lot of subscribers already, so you guarantee that I already hit that mark. However, if you're just starting out, you can literally get to that 4,000 minutes watch just by having a live stream that loops 24 seven and having people watch that channel. The second way this channel is making money is through releases of other people's music. So it's kind of like a music label where people will send in their music and I guarantee that Chilled Cow is having some type of fee for that music placement to appear. So think about it this way, Chilled Cow, the YouTube channel is an influencer and someone wants to tap into this influencer's audience. 
rights. Therefore, they would pay them to release the music on that channel. Now, Chill Cow hasn't said that they take money to place music on their channel. However, I guarantee that this is what's happening. And if it's not happening this way, it would be pretty stupid of Chill Cow because they can make a lot of money just by taking other people's money to promote them on their channel. It seems pretty obvious, right? Now, the third way that Chill Cow is making money and something that you can easily do as well, they have a very, very simple image and on that image it's just a loop of a gif right it's just looping 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 but on the lower left hand side there was a lower third that says follow us here right follow us on facebook follow us on instagram follow us on youtube subscribe to our channel and then the last lower third says check out our new merch link in the description now, this is really, really powerful because what happens is when someone sees that lower third, they go to the description and they click the link that says merch here, right? Merch in our store. Now, when you click that link, it leads you to a Shopify store that has a lot of different merchandise that can be easily replicated if you have a simple print on demand solution for Shopify, which has tons of apps for print on demand. Now, when I was doing my research, I found out that they had 400,000 people click on this link specifically 452,000 people click on this link and I know that because they're using bit.ly and I did a bit of research you can see on your screen here and you can see since March of 2018 to now they have had over 450,000 people click the link now you're probably thinking well that's nice how do they make money let's just say that 1% of those people who clicked on that link went to the Shopify store and bought something and now let's say that the average order is $10. And that's me being super conservative. At 1% at the average order of $10, this would mean that this channel has made over $45,000 in one year's time. No advertising, no face, no production value, no camera, just a video that is on loop playing new music for other people's entertainment. It's pretty crazy, right? Now I wanna take you back to Flare TV because I wanna show you how they are making money and what they're doing is pretty unique as well. So remember that PewDiePie versus T-Series live stream subscriber count battle, right? If you take a look at the Flare TV description for this particular live stream, there is no link that says go to our merch or go to our Shopify store. They don't have anything that's directing people to actually buy something. So how is this channel actually making money? If you scroll a little further, you'll see that people are donating to this channel because Flare TV actually indicates the top five donations and the number one donation donated over $1,300. $1,300 to a channel that does not have a camera, doesn't have high production value, Value, doesn't have a face doesn't have really a niche specific thing it's just a battle versus two humongous channels and they are capitalizing on this and when i was doing my research this video in particular had over 400 people watching at that time so as you can imagine there's always different types of people watching this live stream on loop and people are donating if you donate ten dollars and someone else donates five and then another person donates 20 and 50 and then you get that thirteen hundred dollar random donation that is pretty crazy that people just whip out their wallets and donate to the channel and that my friends is called super chat Super Chat is a really cool, unique way that live streamers or people who have a 24 seven YouTube channel can capitalize on people's donations. I would assume that this channel makes thousands of dollars per month just on people donating to this particular live stream. And not to mention the other videos that this channel releases that has ads on them. So I can easily guarantee that this channel is making pretty good money every single month just from capitalizing on two humongous channels battling. That's how they got their star is just putting this live stream up when, you know, pretty much waiting to see who would get to 100 million subscribers first. Capitalize on that, get those donations, and then slowly release other videos and put ads on them. Pretty simple business model. You're probably thinking, well, how are they doing it? How do I create a 24 seven channel that has something playing on loop? How is it done? Well, I'm gonna show you. It's actually really simple. I actually made one myself doing research on this video, I got really excited. I was like, whoa, I, this is super cool. Let me create one. So I actually created a 24 seven techno YouTube channel that just plays techno music on loop. 
the first thing you're going to need is a reliable VPS hosting solution, which will allow you to run a 24 seven YouTube channel without having the really expensive equipment that you would probably need to do that if you wanted to run it from your house. So I did some research and I found the number one hosting solution when it comes to 24 seven YouTube channels. And that solution is called O Bubble. You can check them out, go to their website. You can buy different specific plans for what your needs are. But I would recommend that if you want to do something like this, that you look into their most expensive plan because that is going to guarantee that your YouTube channel that is 24 seven will never go down. They say that they have a 99.9% .9 uptime, which is pretty crazy. But if you want to really make sure your channel never goes down, you can also look in another hosting solution on top of that, which is called Volter, I believe it's pronounced. You can check them out. So basically you're gonna have two VPSs running at the same time. O Bubble being the main one, and then uh, Volter being the second one. So O Bubble 99.9% .9 uptime, but just in case that 0.1 or 0.01% goes down, you have something to catch the channel while O Bubble fixes the malfunction if that does happen. Now, this might sound really technical, but it's really simple. Once you find your plan that you want to go with on O Bubble, you will have to wait until they contact you and make sure that your server is ready for use. And then once they contact you, you're going to want to get a program called AnyDesk. It's totally free. You don't have to pay for it. But this is how Obubble is going to connect you to the virtual private server that you bought from them. And this is what mine looks like when I created my 24-7 YouTube channel. This is exactly how it's going to look once you get yours up and running. Now, once you have it, it's going to come preloaded with OBS and Streamlabs. These are the two main programs that most streamers use when it comes to live streams. For my 24 seven YouTube channel, what I'm using is Streamlabs because it comes with really cool preloaded presets. You don't have to do anything besides put up your background image, put in your little lower third animations, if you will, and then run some music if you want to have a 24 seven music channel. And this is what my Streamlabs account looks like. You can take a look and see that I have the image there. I have the music playing underneath the image and that's pretty much it. And my channel just running 24 seven. For this, I'm using Spotify to play my music on loop. However, I would recommend that you make sure the music that you want to use if you wanna make a 24 seven music channel is not copyrighted. What will happen if you have music that is copyrighted is you may get a violation from YouTube, which is not good. I recommend trying different things out. You do not have to have a music channel that's 24 seven. As you can see, Flare TV, what they're doing is random things that just work. And you don't have to have something that everyone else is doing. Get creative, think outside the box because this is a really unique way that you can actually gain an authority, get, build a brand and make money. And you never know, you could become the next Flare TV or Chilled Cow by accident. If you wanna try this out, I would love to see your 24 seven YouTube channels. Leave them in the comments below so I can check them out. I really, really think this is a really cool way for you to make money. So leave a comment down below if you wanna try it out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the alert bell as well because I'm always dropping new content when it comes to YouTube and ways you can make money on YouTube. But that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.